LEGO makes thousands of different types of pieces for their sets. Different gears, molds, slopes, and whatever this thing is. Yet somehow, with all the parts they've made, they're still missing some of the basic pieces people have been wanting for years. Hey there friends, I'm Andrew from the Scrap Box, and today we're making five of the top requested pieces that LEGO has never made. Let's get to it! Number 1. The Double Stud As you grow older, some of you will learn that sometimes the best path isn't just straight up. Sometimes the world is a little more complicated. And while you can easily build sideways, at an angle, or even upside down, it's nearly impossible to find a compact way of building studs out. Tell them to push their butts together. Okay, I guess. Nope. That is, until today. Using the most complex trigonometry and calculations possible, our bean counters in the lab have invented the double stud. It's, it's got a stud on both sides. That's, that's the whole thing. Update, now in round. This would be a lifesaver for the LEGO community. However, this piece is extra frustrating because it exists, just not in LEGO. What? Megablocks and other brands have had these pieces in a variety of sizes for years, but LEGO refuses to catch up, leaving our purest fans hungry. Give it to me! Big, beefy bods. Uh, say what now? LEGO has always had trouble with scale, especially when it comes to people. However, there are just some characters that are too big to be minifigures and too small to be big figs. If only there was something between the man and the monster. We're not talking about specific individually molded figures. We want one build that can either be buff, fat, large, or in charge. We want them big. But I can still fit through the door, big. I actually bought a couple knockoff figures to see what I could learn, but each one, while cool in their own right, just didn't fit the LEGO standard. Behold, Big Beefy Body Mark III. Yeah! Don't ask what happened to Marks 1 and 2. It was awful! You don't want to know. This body is designed to be taller and wider, with Technic pin sockets for all types of weird connections. It's also left flat with no bulging pecs or stomach for a couple of reasons. A. When flat, this torso can be used whether they're thick or a brick. B. It can still be used with most minifigure accessories. Some shoulder pads may not apply. And C. It's right at the limit where minifigure legs still look okay proportionally. Just look at all the characters that could have accurate bodies because of two new pieces. I modified the Hagrid arm so they don't stick out as far. This concept has been demanded ever since LEGO came out with their Incredibles game and had Mr. Incredible looking like this and then his figure looking like this. Oh brother, this guy stinks! I even made some renders of a few characters to really drive the point across. Nice. All of the 3D models that you're going to see in this video will be available to members of my Patreon. Patreon is the best way to support me, and these wonderful people here allow me to do all this weird, wacky stuff that you're seeing right now. Without them, none of this would be possible. So, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much, and link is in the description. Alright, back to it. Better Ball Joints if you've ever built a Lego animal, mech, larger character, or a large round mascot that nobody has ever found despite the very obvious clues you left behind, then you've probably ran into the ball and socket pieces. While the ball joint comes in a decent variety of parts, the socket, not so much. And with smaller characters, it gets really difficult to always have it attached to a two stud plate. You know, from an engineering standpoint, it might have to do with the fact that larger pieces are able to disperse the internal forces better, but they also said that about bar clips, and then gave us these in 2016. Get out! Get out! It happens every time. So, really, we need this. Simple, elegant, 
only one stud. And we need a ball joint version. Wait a minute, Th they've had them the whole time. Bring back the homemaker hands as regular pieces, Lego. I'm just saying, it'd be really easy to design a completely brick-built big fig with pieces like these. However, I'd really like to have them in part four. Colorful ball joints. How Lego sees the world. Pretty good, pretty good. How normal people see the world. You're hideous, hideous! Lego, I wanna show you something. Hold on, let me just move this box and... Wow, it's the same piece in tons of colors for different projects. Wait a minute. Wow, it's the same piece in tons of colors for different projects. Hold on, hold on, I gotta I got check something over here. Can you believe it? It's the same piece in tons of colors. We get it. But if we look over here, it's gray, gray, only gray, gray, gray. It's gray. 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 This is gray. Try the gray stuff. So many characters covered in random splotches of gray because Lego refuses to make them in different colors. Look at these. These are knockoffs from bags I've thrifted over the years, and they're beautiful. Like, Lego, you're really just gonna let Huggy have giant gray rectangles in his arms? That's absurd. Wait a minute. That's that piece from earlier. Lego, please. Lego. Lego, if you don't make any of the other ones, it's fine. Make these pieces in different colors, Lego. I'm begging you. I need them. I need it! Brackets with clips. Have you ever been building a Chima figure and think, man, that is a lot of bulk in the back just to add a pair of wings. I wonder if we could get something thinner. And then Lego thoroughly missed the point when they gave us thin wings that don't move at all? No Lego, just make clips on the brackets. Like this. This way we could have nice posable wings without an entire extra plate jutting out the back. And it turns out one plate makes a lot of difference aesthetically. This one is definitely more of a quality of life update rather than an absolute necessity, but a lot of people requested them and I made this pair of brackets all the way back with Kratos. Not for wings, of course, but to hold his accessories. This one was a lot of fun. It let me... Ooh, I actually got a crack out of that. It let me widen my skills a little bit. Stretch my legs, if you will. But we've reached the end of the video, so hopefully if everything gets out on time, there's gonna be a big video this weekend. But let me know what you want to see me make next down in the comments. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe, ring that notification bell if that's still, that's still a thing, yeah? That, oh, yep, yep it is. It's down there, I see it. All right, as always, I've been Andrew, you've been watching The Scrap Box, have yourself a wonderful day and make something weird. Okay, bye.